Hey, this is Aaliyah. Hey, I'm Rachel. And we want to thank Zildjian for letting us interview the drummer from our favorite band, Seosin. Hey. Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> and um, we're going to ask him a couple questions. So, um, how long have you been drumming for? Been drumming for roughly 12 years. Uh, I just grew up just like any other kid, just like watching bands on TV that I liked and just playing on pillows and <laughs> yeah. I think I got my first coming when I was like 14 uh, after beg, uh, begging my, my parents um, you know to, to get me one and they just finally caved one Christmas so and uh, yeah the, the rest was history I just, just started playing a lot my brother played bass so I would like jam and jam out with him and uh, you know just you know play with like friends in the neighborhood and just progressed on and until I just started actually playing shows and I guess uh, it pretty much evolved to where I am here Wow, yeah. awesome. And what what is the name of the first band you were part of? Uh, first band I was a part of, it was just a terrible garage band. <laughs> uh, oh man, it was like I think I think we, I think we called ourselves the Red Tortoise or something <laughs> just ridiculous. But but we we never played shows. It was just a thing where uh, we would just play for like friends and like you know you know back backyard parties and stuff like that. And it was just like a really crappy well like operate like just like a, a crappy punk band <laughs> essentially yeah cool. all right um how has drumming changed your life um i couldn't i couldn't fathom you know not being involved in drums uh uh it almost seems just uh it seems like if you know without without you know you know being a drummer and being a musician i i just couldn't picture myself working like a regular regular nine to five which i was doing for a while, obviously, but uh, um, but no, like drumming is such like a, you know important part of what I do, and um, you know it's an important part of what I am, and it's something that I, I take pride in, it's something that I really you know love, and uh, I feel very fortunate to be in a situation where I could like make make a living off uh, playing drums. So yeah, it means it means the world to me, and I'm I'm glad I'm able to uh, be a part of uh, the drumming community and being an okay drummer. So it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so what advice would you give to a starting out young drummer? Um, mostly be patient um, and just, you know, stick to it. Um, you know, most drummers, you know, think if, if their first band doesn't get huge or draw like 300 kids at their, you know, VFW <laughs> that, you know, oh, we're done and, you know, we're, we'll, we'll never go anywhere. But yeah, I'll just stay, you know, stick... Uh, Stick to your guns and uh, stick to your convictions, and um, you know just keep playing. And uh, you know if uh, if you're you know if you're a talented drummer, then I honestly believe that at some point that talent will, 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 will get recognized. And um, you know the, the sky's the limit. So I'll just say stick to it. You know. Right. And so, what is next up for Saves It? Uh, we we finished this tour in December, and. Um, we just finish our record. We've been home for like six months, just writing and recording. So, um, so yeah, we. Uh, I think we're. We have, I think we're flying out to South Carolina to work in some studio out there with the producer that we're working with and finish this record uh, by you know January or early next year. And then you know, I think we're going to South Africa and South America in February. Awesome. So that's, that should be exciting. And then we'll just continue touring for another eighteen months, two years, whatever it takes. That's great. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for answering hey, our questions. Thank you for having me. I appreciate no it. <laughs> bye bye.